Hello there, gang, and welcome to Displaying Model Behaviour, the Earth's mightiest video podcast. This is actually the second time that I've recorded this exact episode of Good News. I did this yesterday, and for some reason the audio was absolute trash, and I just, I, I tried to salvage it. I couldn't, and then I thought, you know what? I have so much fun doing this, so I might as well just do it again. But this time, we're, <laughs> we're going to be powered by the, well, the power of Chu Hai, which is great because honestly, the weekend starts here for me. I I'm in a good mood, the sun is shining, but I'm gonna teach you a little recipe. Okay, what you do is, you crack open. This is how you start your weekend. Oh, it's a little bit of ASMR there for you. You crack open the Chu Hai, but then what you do is, you get your cup of flavored ice. This is lemon flavored ice. There's no satisfying sound for this, but you open this bad boy, and then, like a mad scientist, <gasps> you combine the two, and oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that goes down smooth. Lychee is an underrated flavor. All right, now that we're all liquored up, let's start good news. So kicking things off, once again, it's deja vu all over again for me. NECA have revealed their Iron Maiden Eddie 2 pack. I wanted to start with this because I was kind of blown away by this. Because it just came out of nowhere like an RKO and it looks amazing. I was raised on 80s hair metal. Queen, Bon Jovi, Metallica, Aerosmith, but I was never really an Iron Maiden person. I think that might be because I was always a little bit scared by their creepy, scary zombie dude. But now, I'm a fully grown big boy, and I'm not afraid of Eddie. Honestly, I'm not. He, he doesn't spook me, I swear. So now, this two pack, doesn't it look wicked? Especially especially the zombie samurai because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking boom you got a zombie samurai for any display anyone who could conceivably be mixing it up with a, a zombie samurai imagine Wolverine going into battle against this guy so freaking cool so awesome and then you got the futuristic cyborg Eddie as well I, I mean that looks cool looking at it I mean the 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 holsters the metallic parts it all looks wicked but that's not the lead for me just the Edo samurai zombie is just just wicked I mean talk about two great tastes that taste great together zombies and samurais smoosh them together and you got this thing, so it's going to be 60, no sorry, 76.99, which is, you know, the, the rough price of two single release neckers put in a two pack and Bob's your uncle. So that's actually very reasonable. Unlike sometimes when you get two single figures put in a two pack and somehow it costs more than two single figures. Hasbro, Marvel Legends team. Just saying. So, sorry, I, 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 I turned a, a NECA segment into a chance to dunk on Marvel Legends, but come on! I love you guys. Stop nickel and diming us, all right? But enough about that. This two-pack looks awesome. It's going to be available. Well, it's up for pre-order now. Should be releasing around about November. And looking at these pictures, oh, dude, I, I love them. I really do. These, these look wicked. Sticking with NECA, but this time a, a, little, a little less complimentary. They're selling their Shredder's Throne from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Use, or Hero Turtles, if you're in the UK. Ninja, a little bit too spicy for the UK in the 90s. And this is $80, which feels like a lot for a throne that's made out of trash. You know what else is made out of trash? This program? Nah, I'm kidding. But trash. Like, I feel like you could, like, cobble this together with a whole bunch of just random things. Throw in a bit of spray paint and boom, Bob's your uncle and you got Shredder's trash thrown. I feel like $80 is a lot to ask for a very basic looking throne. Yeah, maybe I'm just mean, but hey, I'm being fair. I just sang Nicker's praises and now I'm saying, guys, 80 bucks? That's... That, that, that's a big chunk of change for a, uh, yeah, a, a, a not spectacular looking throne. I mean, normally I, I hate arts and crafts, you know, creating something artistically yourself. Absolutely not. But in this case, to save the best part of a hundred bucks, 
I'd be tempted to do it. But if you are a big time Turtles aficionado and you want to get your hands on this throne, you know what? I don't resent you for it because Lord knows I've spent some money on crazy things in my time. So you can get this exclusively on the NECA online store. So you can grab it there. 80 bucks. Up for pre-order now. Go get it. Fill your boots with a random trash throne. But hey, if you got the rest of the Ninja Turtles from NECA, it is going to be a nice centerpiece. I'll definitely grant you that. McFarlane have shown a preview image of their Dark Knight Returns figure. And honestly, I, you know me. I love taking pot shots at low-hanging fruit. And I love making fun of McFarlane figures. But, um, this actually looks really good. I... <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, uh, Mafex have made some in incredible Dark Knight Returns figures, really. But uh, also, this, this McFarlane figure, just from this very glamorized Photoshop picture, actually looks really good. Uh, judging by the pictures that were shown at San Diego Comic-Con, there's going to have two different heads, masked and unmasked. And yeah, I gotta say, as a preview image, genuinely, this looks pretty cool. Loose Collector have shown a bunch of pictures of their upcoming Captain Canuck figure. Literally never heard of this. Ever. I, I've never heard of this guy before in my entire life. And I've been reading comics since 1994? Give or take? When did the first episode of Spider-Man... Oh, well, it was 94, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what got me into comics. i uh, never heard of Captain Canuck, but the figure looks cool. I, I like the look of it, just uh, like a Captain Canada kind of figure. So, only got a couple of preview pictures here. I guess there'll be more information later. In the meantime, though, uh, I think it looks pretty wicked. Continuing their Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 line, I guess... Hot Toys have revealed their Rocket Raccoon and Cosmo 2-pack. And uh, it looks cute. It's exactly what you would expect from Hot Toys. More of the same. Beautiful renditions of real-life or, you know, CGI real-life movie. You know what I'm saying. Creations. I got to say, though, I'm not such a big fan of these. Especially Cosmo. Cosmo looks very plasticky. And I think that's... The problem with Hot Toys is we're so used to real-world things being recreated by them. Obviously, you know, cloth goods, soft clothes, all that kind of thing. So when you get a character who is largely fur, when that's not actually fur in the toy, it feels a bit plastic. But when you, you're not, you're not going to make an actual furry dog. I know that's not realistic, but still saying that, it just... I don't know, maybe it's the photos. The photos look very shiny. You know, so maybe it actually does look better in person, but this just isn't putting it in the best light. However, Cosmo, the sculpting looks great. They've managed to sculpt that wonderful... This is why we love, love dogs so much, because it looks like she's smiling, but she's just pulling a doggy face. But doggies, especially Piggy, anyone who's seen Piglet on this channel, just in their most relaxed form... They look like they're smiling, and so does she, so that's kind of adorable. And then Rocket, uh, he just looks like normal, classic old Rocket. Uh, that's not a very good Rocket. That sounds more like Mo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they look nice. No release date or price on here, but just some cool pictures. So, enjoy. SH Monster Arts have revealed their new Godzilla Minus One figure, which is a repaint of... Of the OG one, which honestly, oh, even to this day, is still what I would call a Savage Garden figure. What do I mean by that? I mean that I look at it on the shelf and I'm like, Ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need you, but ooh, I'm dying to find out. It's really expensive. <laughs> their, their, their Godzilla is so expensive, but I really want it. And now they've got this new version, which Spider Criminal, friend of the show. I, is he a friend of the show? Have we spoken? I like his videos. I don't know if we've ever spoken before. <laughs> but if we did, I think he'd be a friend of the show. And yeah, so this is the original Godzilla. He called this. The original Godzilla, but black and white. However, with his scales or, you know, his, his spikes glowing blue like he's about to release his atomic breath, which was... One of the many incredible get hype moments of that movie. Oh, so good. Such a great movie. So yeah, no price or release date. I know, shock horror. But he does look good. And now I'm thinking, maybe I should buy the original one. I mean, come on. I've been good. I deserve this. <laughs> hey, just to 
confirm that I double checked. I I went to Spider Criminal's Instagram and yeah, turns out we have spoken quite a bit actually. And uh, yeah, like I said, he's a really nice guy. So uh, go give him a follow. Man, my memory is shocking. <laughs> We've actually looking. I'm genuinely looking at our message thread right now, and yeah, yeah, we've actually spoken quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> God, it's, it's lucky I got my looks. Flame Toys were recently at the Hong Kong Toy Fair, and oh my goodness, they were showing their wares. They've been in the kitchen, and oh, they've been cooking. So Flame Toys, they they make the high. Hi, they like the hot toys. They like the hot toys of Transformers and other mech type brands. Case in point, look at this Beast Wars Megatron. What they tend to do is they'll take your original design and then mangarize it and put like more details and spikes and all sorts of stuff on there. Honestly, Beast Wars Megatron has never looked so badass. That's wicked. Then we got an OG, very original, Generation 1 style shockwave. Same again with their sound wave. And then we got OG Megatron, who just looks kind of gorgeous right there. Then we got animated Optimus Prime, obviously just a little prototype there to whet your whistle. Then we've got um, Banzaitron. I don't know who that is. I'll admit, it's a cool name though, Banzaitron. Uh, we got Hound, and that is Hound, isn't it? Yeah, I think I, I think that's Hound. I know, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself with my Transformers knowledge. They got their Power Rangers line, which just looks gorgeous. Their Megazords look incredible. If you want, like, a standout Megazord... Flame toys have you covered. I mean, that's just absolutely stunning. Their mangarized one, though, that is a thing of beauty. They got this Evangelion style figure. I don't know if it is Evangelion, but it looks like that kind of design. They got Pacific Rim as well. Man, Pacific Rim, I'm still a big fan of that. A little Ultraman action, too. Their Solid Snake, I love this. It's like a, a robotic cyber ninja version of Solid Snake. If this was in one twelfth scale, whew, your boy would be in big trouble. Luckily, it's not. Then we've got the Thunder Megazord. Oh, the Power Rangers love is strong with this. Then the classic... Uh, well, I see this as the Dragon Zord. It's listed as Dino Zord. Maybe it's a different version or just a different name uh, in, in Japan. But then, oh, I was talking about the Mangarized Megazord. This is the alternate version uh, that they've they've done. But then here, oh, oh, oh mm. <sighs> hang on, I'm gonna take a, a little a little sip of sip of chew high for this. Oh my goodness, this! If I had a spare five hundred bucks, which I do not, but if I did, this guy, this guy right here would be on my shelf. Absolutely incredible. Just gorgeous. And then... To come, come, oh, right after that, we've got Ultra Magnus, who has never looked cooler. Ultra Magnus, after Optimus Prime, of course, is my favourite Transformer. I love Ultra Magnus. Because, can you imagine being in his shoes, having the Autobot leadership thrust upon him when everything is going to hell you know it's like oh i'm the leader of the autobots great so prime's dead we've lost autobot city and unicorn's coming to kill us all great and he still tried so hard he tried so hard to lead the team i'm not a hot rod guy you can tell lawful good that's who that's what ultra magnus is that's what i subscribe to i love the look of that then we've got drift looking Badass there. We've got uh, Die Atlas. I don't know who that is. Probably cool though. And then this gorgeous, oh, Bayeki's gorgeous, Mangarized Starscream. Ah, oh, who this, no, what was it? Who interrupts my coronation? Coronation Starscream, this is poor comedy. Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. I could literally do the entire Transformers movie. But you don't want to see that. <laughs> and then, yeah, King Starscream, absolutely fantastic. Get on with it! <laughs> Wonderful. Flame Toys, they've been cooking, 
and what they're cooking sure tastes good. Hoo-ha! This looks really cool. Sentinel Fighting Armor are doing a Punisher figure. So the Sentinel Fighting Armor range, this is based on a whole story where essentially Iron Man gives Iron Man armors to everyone. I don't know if Marvel have actually done a story to explain this toy line, but honestly, I don't, I don't need it. I'll just take the awesome action figures, thank you. So they've got this Punisher version. And I, when I saw the first picture, and I'm sure you'll, you'll agree, it looks kind of feminine. There's a bit of a feminine kind of stance and curvature to, a curvature to, the, to the body. I'm not going to edit that. There's a curvature to the body of the feminine stance. But I kind of like it. I think it's cool. So... I think why this looks particularly feminine is because, of course, that they have they, they've, they've taken the skull logo and incorporated that into the rest of the body. So it's kind of like a skeleton kind of paint job. But of course, that makes the entire body look thinner because your eyes just see the white, which makes it look very slim and slender. But I kind of dig that. Actually, that, 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 that's kind of awesome. Then with the War Machine style missile launcher, the, the random grabby claws as well. I, I really like this. I think, it's, I think it's kind of cool. It's certainly better than the Marvel Legends Punisher War Machine, which was just a repainted MCU figure, which uh, was way too small for the 616. Oh, that still annoys me to this day, like six years later. Go figure. I, guess I just can't let things go. So, yeah, this looks good. $109, so it's pretty pricey. But, hey, I, I kind of dig it. I love the fact we're getting more classic Punisher figures with the logo. <laughs> Disney, Marvel are bringing it back. They're reclaiming ownership of it from the people who, like, tried to take it for themselves. And I dig that. I really do. Long live Frank Castle and his badass skull logo over in artist alley i wanted to share with you a really fun album that i found just randomly i can't even remember what facebook group it was on but it was a collection of comic book covers that are homages to todd mcfarlane's wolverine hulk comic book cover where the hulk is reflected in wolverine's claws and you just don't realize how many variants have been inspired by this granted some of the comic covers in this album maybe it's like well is that actually a takeoff of of the Tom McFarlane art or is it just a comic comic cover that just happens to have a character reflected in a weapon because i mean i don't think Tom McFarlane in invented the notion of having a an opponent reflected in someone's weapon or maybe he did actually that's a real interesting homework model behavior homework for you can you find an example of comic book artwork where a character's opponent is reflected in their weapon that is predating Todd McFarlane's Hulk cover. If you can find that, you'll get an official model behavior no prize. I'll be really interested. I guess what inspired this album was, well, Deadpool and Wolverine, where they referenced that beautifully, by the way. And also, it's been two weeks since that movie came out. So if you haven't seen it, then too bad. You, you, spoilers are fine. You, you should have seen it by now. But yeah, I love seeing all these homages. Really, really cool. So uh, yeah. Let's see if anything predates that. That's an interesting question. Or at least it's interesting to me. Over in Creator Corner, shout out to What's Up Danger! I'll always say it that way because I have that song on my gym playlist. But he's done a fantastic job of, well, just taking a whole bunch of amazing, genuinely really amazing action figure photography. Uh, Marvel Legends, Mafex, and a whole bunch of other ones have never look cooler the lighting the set design the, the the props the dioramas so awesome so so badass go give what's up danger a follow because genuinely the <laughs> the photography on this dude's page really amazing incredible work dude if you're watching this or if someone else is watching this and they point this in your direction man double thumbs up keep up the great work because this stuff you're doing absolutely phenomenal 
Over in Cosplay Corner today, I want to shout out Church of Cleo, another hardcore gym person who is willing to put in the work at the Church of Iron. That is what people call it. I, I wish I hadn't called it that because I sound like kind of a douche. But nonetheless, she puts in the work at the Church of Iron in order to actually look like the characters that she is portraying in particular chun li which i was like that was the first picture i saw and i thought <laughs> okay i'm gonna go check out the rest of your instagram and honestly i'm glad i did she looks spectacular go give her a follow and folks that does it for model behavior for today what do you think about the items covered comment below let me know and if you like what you see here and you want to see more then you know what you gotta do you gotta join the six one clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want to step, step, take one step beyond, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I've been filming for a long time. I'm, I'm tired. In fact, if you, if you see how tired I am and you, and, and you want to help me, then you can do. You could, you could, you could join the six one clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe button. So if you want to go one step beyond, then God bless you. If you do, you can join the channel members section. You can join the model behavior underground. And by doing that, not only do you get to support the channel and help me make more episodes every day, but you can also just join in my personal life as well. Yeah, I'm sharing that with you. You want to know what's going on with Dave in the real world? Well, you can find out on the model behavior underground. Right now, I'm chronicling what I call Project Wolverine where I'm turning myself into Hugh Jackman's Wolverine from the Deadpool and Wolverine film. You know, at the end of the movie, you know, at the end of the movie where he takes his shirt off and you're like, oh my God, no one should actually have abs like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give myself abs like that. So I'm chronicling the journey as to how I get there because on December 6th, we have Tokyo Comic Con. And y'all better believe I'm going to attend it in Wolverine cosplay with the mask and the claws and the pants and no shirt showing off that Hugh Jackman six-pack physique. How am I going to get there? Well, you can find out by joining the channel membership section. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a paywall behind that. So, yeah, if you want to do that, that would be awesome. You get a little view into what my honestly ridiculous life here in Japan is like. It's a good time. So, gang, thank you so much for watching. All the names you've been seeing going up the screen, those are the channel members, the members of the Model Behavior Underground. Thank you so much for helping support the show. And until next time, keep displaying Model Behavior. Kicking off D23, D23 being the Disney Expo every, well, not every year. This is D23. This is the 23rd Disney Expo. Let's start this again.